Iron Kingdoms at War Battle Report. Signar vs. Kador, 15 points. Our battle took place on uh, our Kadorian Winter Village terrain. G Dogs, Signarian army consisted of an ironclad, a charger, a lancer, Coleman striker, Iris, and Gorman the wolf. My, Garrison's Kadorian's army consisted of Sorsha, a juggernaut, a destroyer, and the mercenaries Dan and Blythe and Bull. At the end of turn one, G Dog had begun to move in and had taken uh, cover behind a stone wall in the middle of the village. I uh, cautiously advanced from the east, uh, using the cover of hills and trees and tavern, and uh, kind of waited to see what his next move would be. And we'd finally get some action in the uh, second turn. The uh, cover of the stone walls uh, afforded him some protection. My position afforded me some protection, and so we just kind of moved around. In the second turn, uh, finally we had some action. Uh, G-Dog began to spread out his army a little bit, so I was kind of waiting to see if he was going to go right flanking on me uh, to his left uh, but I did get my first shots off against his charger with my destroyer which was in a nice firing position um, just north of the tavern um, unfortunately uh, I missed between his base 13 defense and uh, concealment of snow and his warcaster casting blur on his charger I didn't have much of a chance to do damage and uh, certainly even I failed to hit him all together at the end of turn 3 uh, G-Dog went to work against me. He cast a snipe on his charger and uh, used his powerful attack spell as well. The charger took some shots at me and uh, did some damage on my left arm, uh, which uh, threatened to uh, really hurt my bombard cannon, but luckily it was hanging on by a threat at the end of that turn. I did cast my feet, Icy Gaze, at the end of this turn because I noticed that G-Dog had uh, clumped his units together on the uh, west side of the tavern, and that was meant next turn they were going to be nice and frozen for me to go after, so I was looking forward to that. At the end of turn four, uh, the battle would come to its conclusion. The fact that uh, luckily G-Dog's army was all in range of my caster and frozen by the icy feet gaze meant that I could really go to work. My destroyer fired some shots and knocked out Iris, which was made me very happy because she's always a real pain to me whenever I have to play against her. Um, a very strong, uh, cheap unit. Uh, Dan and Blythe and Bull also went to uh, work. Uh, Bull took three shots with his rapid fire ability from his uh, cannon, and uh, he did hit the charger uh, three times. Unfortunately, none of the damage rolls were that great, so I, I just kind of dented it. But really, what was going to decide this battle was on the other side of the tavern, where my juggernaut was going to work against Coleman Striker. Uh, I had snuck around the tavern, stayed in the uh, control area of my warcaster just barely. And with some boosted attacks with my ice axe and my, uh, or with my my axe and my uh, power fist, I was able to uh, go to work with my open fist and uh, and finish uh, Coleman Striker off. So uh, the fact that he was frozen and I was able to slip around and uh, attack his relatively unprotected warcaster while he was stationary uh, gave me a big edge. Uh, so it was a great battle, a lot of fun. For more, you can visit Iron Kingdoms at War Blog at BlitzBattles.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.